Hello everyone, this is Pat Partsy here, and today I have the Build 14 update of 0.11.0 for Android. So, most of you are probably aware by now, I know it's been days, and I'll explain that in a second why I haven't been here, but most of you are probably aware now that the 0.11.0 version has been submitted to both Apple and Google. So, any day now it could be out and available, depends on their time, the time it actually takes Apple to review and actually approve the update. Once they've done that, it will come out to all the iOS devices for download, nice and easy. Google, I believe, uh, Mojang changes this every once in a while, but I think they usually try to submit it to Google, but then not release the update until the Apple iOS version is ready. But that's not always the case, so it may be out early, not 100% sure. Anyway, you've probably seen most of the stuff about Build 14, because it came out a few days ago. I was actually on a cruise, I, bet I was on a, a seven day cruise, I guess. Um, so I haven't really, I haven't really been with it for like a week, you know, and so that's why I haven't had any videos. I actually tried to pre-schedule things before I left. I ran out of time. I even tried to connect to my computer with my phone on the airports and stuff. I just didn't have enough time to edit some things for you guys. So I had to actually just wait the whole week. I know it stinks. I had no videos coming out. I know this is probably kind of stupid. You've probably seen 100 videos on this already. But I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm just coming back. I'm going to make the video anyway. So this one's on build 14. So I'm going to do play, new, and my world. So in this version... Uh, build 14 they made some significant changes i mean as far as the bug list goes it goes on for basically eternity i mean the thing is huge they've made a bunch of changes tons of, of, of bug fixes tweaks and stuff like that mostly bug fixes with you know that's the list that was the big list so i'm not actually gonna go through all of them though because uh there's a hundred million of them so i will post the whole change log in the in the description below in case you're curious to go through and read through every specific one however i will read a few and a couple of them are actually quite important. I think you guys, I mean, they're all important, but you know what I mean. Some of these are like really good. Like you're going to be really excited to see uh, that they've been added and such. So, fixed items disappearing from furnaces after removing items from input. That's, of course, a very important survival. Fixed crash after getting poison. So, you know, poison is, is obviously a new thing to 0 0.1.0. It's a completely new thing to Minecraft Pocket Edition. All those effects and such. Brand new. Um, so you can expect some weird things like that to happen sometimes. But they fixed that crash in particular. So crafting recipes using wood now display the correct type of wood. So you're probably aware if you've been keeping up with the uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition, obviously there's different types of woods. There's a, there's a various uh, group, uh, you know, of different woods. Right now we're in the jungle biome. You're going to have jungle type logs and such. You also have some normal just trees here. And then there's also birch and a bunch of other different various uh, different trees and stuff throughout the world. So it depends on the biome. Usually the biome is what determines what kind of trees go there. But anyway, that, so that's good that those are fixed for the recipes. Now magma cube spawn eggs now use the correct texture. So if you go to this sword thing here, you will find the magma cubes and this texture now for the egg is actually supposed to be correct so you can actually spawn of course magma cubes i'm sure most of you've seen the magma cubes already magma cubes are creatures of the nether so you haven't probably seen a whole lot i'm sure if you watch pc youtubers and such you've probably seen these guys before um like i said they're in the nether right now pocket edition only has the nether reactor which they are not available in so you know they've been added though in the creative inventory so that tells you that something Something should come of it in the future because they're mostly, you know, they're mostly usable within the nether and they have their purposes there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, also now down below, naturally spawned lava is now affected by gravity. So that's obviously important. Um, before they fix this, basically if, if lava spawned in the world, which lava does, it would just float. It wouldn't actually have any gravity. It wouldn't move. It wouldn't flow. It was just kind of weird. So they've got that fixed. Obviously an important thing to have. Um, in the update. Now, another thing they fixed is they fixed the client slash server item in hand mismatch. So, if you don't know what that means, if you play LBSG or Minecraft uh, survival games of any sort in Pocket Edition, you probably noticed the bars, your item down here, always get screwed up, you know? Sometimes you break blocks or refresh and stuff like that. It's really annoying. So, anyway, I think that's fixed. You know, they've made some serious improvements in the 0.11.0 version when it comes to using external servers and such. So, I expect that we will see a very, very, very nice transition when uh, LBSG, when William gets everything updated to 0.11.0. And once everybody on iOS and Android has the update, I think it's going to be really, really fun. I think there's going to be less less hacking, less issues. I think third person stuff will be disabled. It's already disabled within the game. So no more third person destroying on, on LBSG. It's going to be a much better experience overall, I think. So um, the list actually goes on, like I said, very long. So I'll, pay, I'll paste the rest in the, in the description below. But I will also mention a couple of quick tweaks here. So 
a couple of tweaks. One is they improve the boat boarding, so you can press the interact button as well as the D-pad, which is obviously convenient, if, if that makes sense. I'm sure many of you know the issue that there was. Skeletons now have improved accuracy. That's an important one. So skeletons will be shooting better. They will more likely uh, shoot the arrows at you because their accuracy is more, more pinpoint on your person. Also, Endermen now teleport away from projectiles, so if you try to throw snowballs, for example, in fact, snowballs were added to the creative menu in this update, um, they will uh, they will evade those, they will teleport away, the same with arrows, any projectile things you can throw, shoot, whatever, at them, they will dodge away by teleporting, so just be aware of that when you're playing around with Endermen in this update. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, and even more, I hope you guys are excited for this update, it could be any day now, like I've said. Um, as for the channel, I will be uploading again tomorrow and the next day, and, and, and I'll keep it going daily, because, you know, the cruise thing messed things up, but I will keep going on my Let's Play and such, so I will see you guys tomorrow with that.